Here we have 10.1 word problem involving optimization, optimizing area by using a quadratic function. So one of the examples that they give me, and I do have two of them. Let me see if I have any more. I actually have three of them. This might be a little bit of a lengthy video. So three examples. First one says, Rachel has 360 meters of fencing and wishes to enclose a rectangular field. Suppose that a side length in meters of the field is X as shown below. So it looks like the width is X and the longer side, which is the length, is something else. It says find a function that gives the area of the field in square meters in terms of X. So I do know how much fencing she's using. So I do know the formula. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the length is, okay? But I do know that when you're talking about fencing, that is talking about the perimeter. Because fencing goes around the shape or around the object, and that's what perimeter is, is it's the measurement around the shape, okay? So the formula for perimeter is two times the length plus two times the width. Now, I know the perimeter is 360 meters. I do not know what the length is, but I do know that the width is being used as the expression X. And so if I want to have an expression for L, all I have to do is solve this equation for L. So I will minus 2X on both sides. That's gone. I have 2L equal, these are not like terms, so 360 minus 2X and then divide everybody by two. So then I get that L equals 360 divided by two is 180 minus two X divided by two is just X. So I do have a measurement for, or an expression to represent the length. So instead of writing L over here, I can write 180 minus X. And if you were to add all of these sides to this side plus this side plus this side plus this side, it will total be equal to 360 degrees. However, we do we need to figure out what that measurement for the width is and what the measurement for the length is, like an actual numerical value. So we do have to continue and we have to find out what to write for part A. So finding a function. use this form, okay? So a of x is going to equal x for the width and then 180 minus x for the length. If I distribute that x, I can write a of x as 180x minus x squared. And so this is what they're wanting for that expression in terms of x. So you can't have x and l So we know when we're talking about maximum, we're talking about the vertex. So I need to find x equal to negative b over 2a. And so here, be careful, b is what's in front of x. So b is actually a positive 180. a is what's in front of x squared, which is a negative 1. So I get negative 180 divided by negative 2, which is a positive 90. And the question was, what side length of x gives the maximum area? And I know that. It's x equals to 90. Then it says, what is the maximum area? So now I plug in that 90 into the area function. And so I get 180 times 90 minus 90 squared, and I get 8,100. And so this is the area, the maximum area that that rectangle will cover with the amount of fencing that she has. Now that's one example, okay? I have two more. 
Here's another one. It says, the school wishes to form three sides of a rectangular playground using 440 meters of fencing. The playground borders the school building, so the fourth side does not need fencing, okay? And it says, find a function that gives the area of A of X of the playground in square meters in terms of X. This really is very similar to the previous problem. This is still L, and I want to figure out what L is in terms of X. However, when I'm talking about fencing, I am not going to include this side. So the fencing is going to be X plus this length plus another X, but not another L for the other side. And that total fencing should total 440 meters. So if I combine my like terms, I get L plus two X's equals 440. And again, if I get L by itself so I can have an expression here, I will get that L equals 440 minus two X. So now I have an expression to use for L instead of the letter L, okay? So when it comes to A of X, remember that area equals um, length times width or width times length, it doesn't matter. If you put it in this order, it just means you're gonna have the binomial first and then the um, monomial in the back. But you can still distribute in this way. As long as it's a binomial times a monomial, you can always distribute. And I get 440X minus 2X squared. So A of X, is going to be 440x minus 2x squared. Then it says, what side length x gives the maximum area? Here we go again with maximum. We have to find the vertex, negative b over 2a. So b is actually what's in front of x, which is the 440 positive. a is what's in front of x squared, which is a negative 2. So we have negative 440 divided by negative four, which is 110. So X would have to equal 110 meters. Then what is the maximum area? Well, now we just plug in the 110. And when I put that in my calculator, I get 24,200, and we're talking about meters, so that's how many meters, square meters. And there we go. Oh, you can't see what I was doing down there. All I was doing was plugging in 110 into the area formula, so this formula up here. I plugged in 110 there and 110 here, and I got this expression. Type that whole thing in my calculator, and my calculator told me it was 24,200. Now the last example is a little bit different. So the first one was a full rectangle, the second one was three sides of the rectangle. This one is very different, okay? Still rectangles or squares involved, um, but it's a little bit different. So it says, a wire that is 48 centimeters long is shown below. The wire is cut into two pieces and each piece is bent and formed into the shape of a square. Suppose that the side length in centimeters of one square is x as shown. First, we need to find a function that gives the total area enclosed by the two squares in terms of x. So these are squares. I know I kind of drew it like a rectangle, but it should be a square, which means that if this side is x, so is this one, so is this one, and so is this one. What I don't know is the sides of this other one, okay? And we'll call it y. So y, 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 and y. <coughs> what I do know is that the string is gonna go all the way around to make this square, which means I'm gonna have x plus x plus x plus x, which is 4x, and then the string's gonna go around and around and around here, so that's four y's, and that should total the full string, because that's what's being cut at 48 centimeters. Now I do need to get an expression for y, so I'm gonna minus four x on both sides. I get four y equals 48 minus four x, and then I'm gonna divide every term by four, 
and I get y equals 12 minus x. And now I have an expression for y. So when it says, what is the total area enclosed? Remember, you're gonna to have to do the area for the square, which is x times x, or x squared. The area for this squared, which is y times y, or y squared, but this is not in terms of just x. So they're gonna have x squared plus, and then the expression for y, which is 12 minus x squared. Now they may make you elaborate this and multiply it out. So if they do, then make sure you FOIL this. So you get 144 minus 24x plus x squared. You can FOIL that on your own to verify that you get this trinomial. And then combine your like terms, you get 2x squared minus 24x plus 144 if I put those in order. And this is the expression that they want for a of x. Once you have that, he says find the side length that minimizes now the total area. Minimizes or maximizes doesn't matter. You're going to use the negative b over 2a. So b in this case is negative 24, and a in this case is a positive 2. So we actually end up with positive 24 over positive 4, which is positive 6. So I know that x is going to be 6 um, centimeters. That's the measurement that we've got here. And then what is the minimum area? That just means plug in 6 into the area um, function that you have there. And if I type that in my calculator, I get 72. And since it's centimeters, it would be squared centimeters or centimeters squared, same thing. Um, but the numerical value is going to be 72. So whether you write the word square centimeters or you write the expression centimeters squared, sometimes it makes you um, select one from a drop down row. So make sure you're clicking centimeters squared and not just regular centimeters when it comes to area. When it comes to finding the side length, that is just regular centimeters. But that is all three cases. So you've got the regular rectangle, you've got the um, three-sided rectangle, and then now you've got this piece of string that is cut, and then how um, they're gonna make two squares out of that string. But that's all of the examples I have for you for this particular topic.